Warox is essentially an applied optics company building specialised three-dimensional microscope imaging instruments. The extra th things that we need for the Aurox product to work are clearly the conventional microscope, but also a CCD camera to capture the image. So we have partnered with two, two people. On the one hand, we have partnered with Carl Zeiss, who of course have the microscopes, and we've also partnered with um, Andor PLC, uh, based in Belfast, who provide the high-resolution, high-specification CCD cameras. These are our two main routes to market. By going back to the real basic physics of how a microscope forms an image, the kind of thing Ernst Aber understood at the end of the 19th century, and ignoring all the recent work, one can really build a very simple instrument to pr provide three-dimensional imaging inexpensively and hence fits a niche in the microscope imaging market. The way 3D microscopy typically works uh, these days is that when the university buys a confocal microscope it doesn't go into the lab, it does go into a central imaging facility and it's because it's big, expensive, needs to be maintained. Each individual researcher books time and does imaging in the central facility. What Orox is doing is providing an instrument which is small and inexpensive enough to be attached to a conventional microscope that uh, an individual researcher will already have in his lab. With all optical microscopes, if one looks at an image, a high resolution image of say a biological specimen, which will be a three dimensional specimen, one ends up with a very good high-resolution in-focus image of the part in the focal plane with blurred bits above and below. And the whole idea of the Aurox product is to get rid of these blurred bits. Going out into the real world and trying to actually convert your ideas into a product is a very big psychological step. Uh, it's not to be taken lightly. The specifics of the uh, product and how it has to work always first time uh, with not necessarily the best person operating it is very different from what you do in the lab for yourself for one off experiment and so I would say this was the most difficult part to get through. We modify the illumination of the microscope so that we project a pattern of lines onto the specimen. It's then a matter of clever optics to, and computer processing to remove the parts of the specimen where there are no lines. It's then a matter of removing the lines from this thin section near the optical focal plane and that will reveal a thin in-focus optical section of the thick specimen. We then physically focus through the whole thickness of the specimen, recording these thin sections at, at each plane, and then we replay in the computer to have a wonderful three-dimensional representation of the whole um, object. We had a lot of work on our hands trying to persuade that this thing, for which you pay perhaps a small percentage of what you would normally pay, can actually do as good a job as the bigger machine. The Aurox product is based on the fact that most people have a conventional microscope in their lab. And so what we are trying to do is to add functionality to that microscope to provide the three-dimensional imaging. So I'm tremendously pleased that by our work in optics, we're, we are able to allow people in the biosciences to really explore the structure of living cells. It's a, a very satisfying experience when something that you worked on for many years, first as a researcher and then as a developer, finally gets released into the outer world and you get very positive responses from the end users. I think this is the, the whole point why we do this.